Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Finishing Blow. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. It's been crazy for me, but um, I am managing and we are going to get through this. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving, right around the corner. I don't know how or when that happened, but it's just ridiculous. But anyways, we got a lot of cool stuff to talk about on the website, so let's go ahead and get started. Kicking off the week with some Tony Jaw news. He is going to be on the SPL sequel, if you want to call it, more likely prequel, especially because of the fact that Wu Jing's in it. But yes, Tony Jaw has signed on. He's going to be on the film. I don't know when they're going to be filming this movie, though, because he's doing Fast and Furious 6 now. Or 7, sorry. Fast and Furious 7 now. And then he's going to finish the film with uh, Dolph Lundgren next. So it's going to have to start at least, I would say, the, the middle of next year um, before they start doing this. Now, nobody else has been officially announced. Donnie Yen's kind of been back and forth on it. I'm not too sure if he's going to be in it. Hopefully he'll have like a cameo, but I don't think it's going to be a full-fledged film with Donnie Yen as a star. That being said, I would love to see Tony fight like Donnie or at least Wu Jing, because that'd be really really cool. The the main thing with Tony, I think, is that he um, I don't think the Thai market's utilizing him the way that they should, and I think that's why he's going to different markets, which is awesome for him. But I feel like with the the Hong Kong style choreography, I think. It's gonna breathe some some new life into Tony's fighting and his his uh, styles. So I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping it's gonna be awesome. Be sure to check the article to see some ridiculous videos um, with uh, Tony talking to different cast members. It's it's fun. But anyways, give it a look and see. But yeah, the main thing is gonna be Tony Jaa and Wu Jing. I think is going to be very very cool. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I don't think you guys are gonna be disappointed. Next up, though, we had some posters for the 4-2, which is really weird when you try to say it like that, but I don't know how I feel about this movie. I, I think you guys at least know of my review for the first one. It wasn't all that great. Uh, they had a lot of stuff they had to fix before they needed to make a second one, but of course, uh, the new trend right now is filming sequels back to back, so I'm not too sure how much they fixed from the criticism on the first one until the second one was made. You know, it could just be just boom boom and all it is is just like CG effects and post production and nothing's going to be different. I feel like the first film didn't do a good job of explaining everyone's powers, like what they were able to do. So when you get to the final fight, this confrontation, you don't exactly know what people are capable of, so there's no sense of danger or anything like that because people are just doing whatever fits that situation. So hopefully they do better with the four part two. I want to enjoy the film, I just, the first one didn't do it for me. But also on that same day, I did another, like a sub, it's one article, whatever you want to call it, it's not really a sub link, but Flying Swords of Dragon Gate is getting a TV show. Now, I don't know too much about Chinese TV shows, I honestly don't think I've seen any of them, which may be kind of bad for some of you guys, but they're long, like, some of them, I think Flying Swords is going to be 30 episodes. So it takes a good chunk of time to watch all of these, but I know there's some really good ones. I don't know if I would have the time to review like a TV series per se, <clears throat> but maybe in the future I could. I don't know how I, if Flying Swords of Dragon Gate really necessitates having a TV show. I feel like that is fine in and of itself. The film with Jet Li wasn't all that great. The one with Donnie Yen was, was pretty good. But the, the film with Jet Li was kind of a letdown, to be really honest with you guys. So I don't know if they're going to be trying to follow that similar story or what they're doing. There's a lot of stuff in the air about it, but I guess it's cool that they're trying to push it again and get people aware of this, um, of the story. So let me know what you guys think about that, if I should even, A, check out Chinese TV shows. I, I know there's some with, like, like Sammo Hung, Yoon Biao. Um, so there are some out there that I want to watch. It's just I've never gotten around to them. So, And also what you guys think about The Flying Swords being a TV show, being adapted into a TV show. If you guys think it's going to be good or bad. Or if you're going to even watch it. Following that up, we have Jean-Claude Van Damme. His film Svelter, I guess is how you pronounce it. Um, got some new images uh, for a interview that was done by a different website. I forgot what their name is though because I'm terrible. But... Um, the movie sounds really good uh, to me, and I know it's a tired plot, but the thing is, to see John claude Van Damme do it, I think would be really, really cool. The amnesia routine has been done many times, but it's, uh, if you guys don't know, it's about like a bank heist where uh, I, think, I think the majority of the criminals either get killed or captured besides like John claude Van Damme, but he has amnesia, 
and ends up being a sheriff of a town, and then those other people get released from prison, and they want to know where Jean-Claude Van Damme hid the gold, or whatever it is that they stole, and that's kind of where it starts. So, I think it would be cool, because you've got that dynamic of, like, a person trying to protect the town, but leave his past. Uh, it reminds me of a history of violence, and I don't know exactly why, because I don't remember that film 100% well, but I think it does some, some similarities to it, so... If it's anything like History of Violence, I think I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm not expecting anything amazing, but it is pretty cool. And, of course, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme is getting a lot of publicity thanks to his Epic Splits uh, stunt that he did with uh, Volvo, which, if you guys have not seen that yet, definitely check it out. And then there's also the hilarious um, reenactment by Shining Tatum on the set of 22 Jump Street. So be sure to check those out if you have not seen them yet. I, I think they're pretty sweet. Alright, following everything else up, we have some images and video of Donnie Yen on the set of Iceman Cometh 2. The man does not know how to stop. Uh, now, if you look at the images, you can tell that it's back in the uh, period, I guess you could say, like the period era. Uh, what, what would you call it? It's, just, it's back in time. It's old. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yes, it's not the modern time. So, obviously they're still going to be jumping back and forth between timelines. I don't know if this is a flashback scene or what they're going to be doing with that. I'm still really curious how they're going to take one film and remake it into two films. Like, if they're just going to drag it out, or if they're adding a lot more of, uh, like, story and, like, you know, subplots to get this going. Because I feel like if it's just one film and they stretch it out, it's, it's going to be really painful to watch. But obviously the first film had that, like, bridge sequence, which was never in the original, so... It could be good. Um, it's it's good to see Donnie back in action. If you have not seen uh, the video yet on his uh, Facebook, he also posted, he's saying it's, uh, I don't remember the exact quote, but it was like, it's difficult to make a, a fight scene. It's very, ex like, extremely difficult to make a great fight scene. So I think that's true. Um, you know, people think that you can just make fight scenes just out of nothing, and those are usually the ones that aren't that great. So... A lot of time and preparation goes into these. Uh, I know Donnie's putting in countless hours. You know, he just finished uh, Kung Fu Killer, and then he was at the New York City uh, like film festival, and now he's back filming. So the the man is insane. I don't know what all he's doing, but he just his work ethic is crazy. I don't know. I'm just I'm excited to see it. I hope that the first one comes out real soon so that we can see more of it. I think it got pushed back. I don't think it's coming out in December anymore. Um, but I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out about that. So, moving on, on the last side of the news side of things, we have some new posters for Police Story 2013. Now, some of you guys have been really receptive of these posters. I'm not one that's, I don't know, they haven't grown on me. I thought maybe they would, but the, the hand just right in front of the poster feels out of place, and all the other posters were really gritty and had this, like, set style and tone to them and I don't feel like these have that you know it's just uh, the hand with the character in the back and an object exploding in the palm of that hand and it's just it's not that great to me I'm not too sold on them I feel like the other posters were a lot better because they they set the tone you knew that it wasn't a typical Jackie Chan film and so I think that's what people want to see um, but let me know what you guys think let me know in the comments if you guys uh, like the posters if you think that the, the movie is going to be great. I think it's going to be awesome. But if you guys think the posters are any good or if they should be a little bit different, let me know because I'm always curious what you guys think. All right. So that's it for the new side of things. I did do a review for Unbeatable. If you guys have not seen that yet, please be sure to check it out on my website. Um, that was a very, very interesting film to watch. And I think I tried to put everything I, I felt about the film in, into words. So hopefully you guys get the most out of it and you can make a decision about that. For those of you that are wondering, um, it's not out for release on like DVD or Blu-ray yet. Um, it's actually on iTunes, so you can purchase it, like you can rent it or purchase it on iTunes. Uh, choose accordingly, based on what you guys feel about the film. If you want to check it out, I suggest it. But uh, yeah, be sure to read the review so you can get my full thoughts on it. And lastly, uh, we do have the Fight of the Week and the uh, Let's Play videos that I did. So as always, you can click there for the Fight of the Week. Click there for uh, my Let's Play videos. Now, I am going to let you know, just as a forewarning, for the Let's Play videos, I'm going to postpone them like past, past the end of this year. So, starting January, I'll do them again. I'm going to finish Nightmare North Point, like for sure. But the other videos um, that I'm going to make are going to be after January. 
I don't want to tell you guys why yet because I want to save that for Tuesday on the fight of the week. There's going to be a really big, really cool announcement. So be sure to check in and see what it is. And I think when you guys see what I'm trying to do, um, you'll understand why I'm going to postpone the Let's Play videos because it's just time management. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this whole the whole website is me. Like, it's just me doing it. So um, I got to manage my time, and I'm I'm really excited for this side project I'm going to do. So I'll tell you guys on Tuesday what it is, uh, when it's going to start, how you guys can get excited about it, things like that. I've been thinking about it forever, so I think it's going to be awesome. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it and get a kick out of it. It is going to take a lot of community um, feedback, so be sure to let your friends know. Um, you'll find out. You'll find out on Tuesday. I don't want to say it on the finishing blow because I feel like it's a, a fight of the week thing, so we're going to wait till the fight of the week. Anyways, that's all I got, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys have an awesome week, and... Uh, I guess uh, happy Thanksgiving for those of you that are in the States because I won't see you unless I see you on Tuesday. But um, that's all I got. So this is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.